hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys it seems to be one problem after the other for the former governor of lagos state akimumi and body as uh, his travels seem to pile on top of each other so with that guys i bring you this lagos assembly probe and body over purchase of 820 buses so that's the headline lagos assembly probe and body over purchase of 820 20 buses so now let's get into the body of exactly what's happened the lagos state house of assembly yesterday set up a committee to investigate the purchase of 820 buses by the administration of former governor akimumi and body of the state the lawmakers stated it was important to investigate the purchase of the 820 buses out of the 5,000 buses proposed by Ambody for mass transit in the state, which was purchased despite objection by the House of Assembly. In a motion titled Lagos State House of Assembly Motion No. 2, Honorable Bolaon Yishahu, Etiosa, Etiosa 2, so I was going to say Etiosa, Etiosa the second then, but it's actually Etiosa 2, so that's his word. So, yeah, Honorable Bolaon Yishahu, uh, Yishahu, Etiosa 2, uh, explained that the House noted that at the executive slash legislative Palais held at Golden Tulip in Festac in September 2017, Ambody informed the lawmakers that 5,000 buses will be bought by the state government. He stated that the executive proposed to spend 17 billion naira to purchase the buses in the 2017 budget, but that it was not approved by the assembly. In the 2018-2019 budget, the state government proposed 24 billion and 7 billion respectively, but these were not approved. The state government still went ahead to import 820 buses at 7 billion and out of them, 520 are still waiting clearance at the ports, he said. He added that the house was worried that the 520 buses were awaiting clearance from the bonded warehouse to be cleared and that they were purchased with tax payers money without approval yashihu then submitted that the house should set up an ad hoc committee to investigate all the issues relating to the purchase of the buses he also stated that the house should investigate the cost of purchase of the buses and other issues surrounding the purchase to prevent a reoccurrence the state government requested waivers for the importation of the buses and it was not granted the value of the buses was overrated some of the buses are still in the port and they are attracting demurrage 45 billion will be spent on the total purchase of the buses and we need to prevent such an occurrence in the future he added the speaker of the house honorable mudashiru obasa said in his submission that the house needed to prevent waste because the expenditure had been done according to him the vehicle are in the port and they have been there for almost a year the state will continue to suffer if we allow the buses to stay in the port we should be the regulators of transporters the state should not operate buses how much are we giving the buses out should be addressed we should get the buses to the roads and save the state from further waste he said the house subsequently set up a committee headed by honorable fatal Mojid, or that should be Fatai, but it's written as fatal so honorable Fatai, i will read it as Mojid uh, ibejuleki one to look into the matter and report to the house in due course members of the committee in uh, well it just goes on to list uh, the names of the members of the committee so we can skim through that the speaker directed the committee to invite the accountant general of the state permanent secretary of ministry of transport and others that were involved in the purchase to state what they knew about the purchase he also told them to invite the current commissioner for finance the managing director of lamar 
Lamata, L-A-M-A-T-A, and others. In his contribution, Honorable Yinka Ogundumi, Agege 2, that's his word, stated that the House needed to investigate every transaction that had to do with the procurement of the buses. He added that it would become a bad precedent if the House didn't do anything about the matter. A huge amount of money still needed to be paid on the purchase of these buses. Whoever has erred should be brought to book, he said. Also speaking, Honorable Rashid Makinde stated that it was obvious that the last administration did a lot of misdeeds in awarding contracts. The House rejected the proposal on the buses, yet they went on to spend $45 billion on the project. Since we did not approve it, the contract expenditure is null and void, so the money should be refunded. The Accountant General of the State, Procurement Officer and Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Transport must be called to speak on the matter, he said. In his view, Honorable Rotimi Olowo uh, Chomolu 1 stressed that the provision of the 1999 Constitution Section 120 has been flouted with the purchase. They told us that they wanted to start a pilot project, yet they went ahead with the project. Can we still wait for the vehicle to be in the port and attracting demorage? The incumbent governor of the state should ask for waivers from the federal government so that we could retrieve the vehicles from the port. So now that is now the narrative of what is going on now in Lagos State. So Akimumi Ambode yet again is in the throes of it with a yet another set of allegations and yawas. So now let's look at the trajectory since this guy left our uh, office, which is just a few months ago. So this guy was effectively kicked out uh, as the governor of Lagos State by Tinubu. We have no doubts about that. So that's what's happened. So then since then, this guy has been having one year after the other. So first, he didn't get to serve his second term. The first governor since uh, the, the new demo democratic dispensation came into play that has not served two terms in Lagos State. So that's the first one. And then he's not now having his name dragged through the mud with the EFCC going to raid his home over an alleged 9.9 .9 billion naira, uh, naira that was found in an account or wasn't found in an account etc. Anyway, a 9.9 .9 billion the naira scandal uh, was now what is being investigated for by the EFCC. So that's two. And then, of course, his name was not included in the ministerial list, which was the expectation of virtually everybody within the country, because everybody in, in the country are uh, of the opinion that uh, he was a performer, and they expected that to carry through and be rewarded with the ministerial post. But that did not happen, so that, that's another one. And then they had this retreat recently, which I reported on this channel, when all of the uh, past governors and current governors of Lagos states went to meet to discuss our state affairs and the, the, the notable name that was absent there was of course Akimumi Ambode so it was frozen out there so now we now have this uh, based on our buses now so he bought buses he bought uh, uh, well, he was meant to buy 5,000 5, buses but he's uh, bought 820 so far but what they are now alleging of course is that this is not this, is, this did not pass through due process before that purchase was made so they have that hanging over him and then they are also saying that the thing was inflated the way the contract was done was wrong etc etc so all of the colorations of corruption is really what they are packaging around this purchase as well so he's now latching from one disaster to the other for this uh, governor of uh, Lagos state or former governor should i say so now the, i said before in previous videos and i say again the nail that sticks out will be, will be hammered down the nail that sticks out will be hammered down so this guy now his nail is sticking out and he stuck out too much and he was going above his station trying to challenge the almighty Tenobu in Lagos state so now the beating of his life now is now what is being dished out to him so conversations in the comment section is what i am inviting 
the travails of our governor, or should I say former governor, Akiyomi Ambode, is what I am inviting you to come and discuss with me. So before you come have that conversation with me though, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray. Bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come, let's have a conversation around this in the comment section. So I'll leave you here, carry on with you in the comment section. But here, I say, peace.